Hi, my name is Bruce Stewart. I'm a technical service manager with FMC located out of Choctaw, Oklahoma. Today I'm out here in Alfalfa Field in central Oklahoma and wanted to talk to you a little bit about alfalfa weevil and its control. The alfalfa weevil is the number one pest in uh, the Midwest and causes considerable damage uh, every year uh, and usually needs to be addressed by most growers and consultants uh, when dealing with alfalfa. The adults are about a quarter inch in length. Uh, they have a dark brown to, to black line that runs right down the, the middle of the back, so very easy to distinguish. And then also, uh, as the name suggests, it has a snout uh, since it is a weevil. So they kind of feed early on in the uh, alfalfa and then they move out uh, of the alfalfa in the latter in the summer. And they kind of over summer outside of the alfalfa field. And then it's around November that they start moving back into the alfalfa and then uh, that's when they start laying eggs in the stem and uh, they will continue this egg laying from about November all the way through April. Uh, so eggs are laid in the stem and then they begin to hatch uh, around sometimes as early as February, March, and April or usually more of the common months that the, the uh, larvae start to hatch out. Uh, and a lot of that's dependent upon the, the temperatures that, that occur in the springtime. Uh, so the larvae are kind of light green in color and then they too have a, a line down the back but it's white so very easy to distinguish uh, these light green larvae uh, with a, a white kind of line down the back. Uh, there's four stages of of uh, alfalfa weevil, so as they get larger, they consume more and cause more defoliation and damage. Uh, damage starts out as small pin hose in the leaf, as you can see uh, in this picture, and then as they become larger, they skeletonize the leaf, and uh, oftentimes when you drive by a field, you can see a kind of a whitish or grayish uh, cast to the field, and uh, that's really evident that uh, alfalfa weevil are doing some damage. Uh, usually there's one generation a year uh, and alfalfa weevil are most damaging to that first cutting. Uh, usually don't have to worry about them after that since the adults are moving out uh, to over summer. Uh, and the threshold for alfalfa weevil does vary quite a bit from grower to consultant and region, uh, but uh, oftentimes we'll use that if there's one larvae per two or three stems and that, that's time to, to make a treatment. There's four programs that you can kind of utilize Stewart to control alfalfa weevils. I was going to kind of go over those uh, briefly here. One, there's the early application program. That's when we get those weevils early. Uh, maybe the growth of the alfalfa is only two to four inches tall. We don't want to come out with Stewart too early uh, because there's not going to be enough foliage there for them to feed on and take up uh, the steward insecticide. So what we like to do is come out with Mustang Max or a pyrethroid at around four ounces of Mustang Max uh, early. Mustang Max is uh, the active ingredient in it is uh, Zeta Cypermethrin. It's going to provide some rapid knockdown and some residual uh, control. And then uh, once that alfalfa gets up to about six to eight inches tall, then that's when we're going to come back in with steward. And uh, you can use a rate range of somewhere between six to ten fluid ounces to control those uh, alfalfa weevils. Also we've got an, another program. Uh, this is in case kind of the second program. It would be if, if you had aphids and alfalfa weevils and they're kind of coming out early. Again you kind of have uh, aphids and weevils at that two to four inch height alfalfa. Uh, we don't want to come out too early with steward. So we're going to put in Mustang Max at around four fluid ounces and then mix that with, or have a tank mix with dimethoate. Dimethoate is an organophosphate, has uh, good systemic activity, uh, good uh, rapid knockdown, and it's gonna be in there for the aphid control. So it does an excellent job on, on most of the aphids. If you do have like the uh, spotted alfalfa aphid, you may have to use a, a group 4C or 4D insecticide to control them. They're a little more difficult to control. So again, you, with this aphid weevil program, you start out with Mustang Max at about four uh, fluid ounces, dimethoate at about uh, 16 fluid ounces, 
And then once that uh, alfalfa gets about six to eight inches tall, if you have weevils after that application, then you're gonna come back in with uh, the steward at that six to 10 fluid ounces. Kind of the third program is what we would call a one-shot steward program. Uh, that's where the, maybe the weevils didn't come out early. Uh, you're able to get six to eight inch tall alfalfa before you start seeing weevils. And then that's when we're gonna use a one-shot of somewhere between eight to 10 fluid ounces of steward. Kind of the last or the number four uh, program is the two-shot program. Uh, that's where we're gonna come out with steward at around six to eight inch tall alfalfa. Uh, and then make an application of about 5.3 fluid ounces and then follow it up uh, at once that uh, alfalfa gets about 10 inches tall with six fluid ounces. With stewards, you can only make per cutting uh, a total of 11.3 fluid ounces and the reason uh, that I had mentioned in this two-shot program of 5.3 and, and six fluid ounces. To get the most out of a steward application for control of alfalfa weevil larvae, there are a number of factors that we should uh, keep in mind uh, before making an application of steward insecticide. One is don't make an application of uh, two days prior or after a, a cold snap. Alfalfa weevil larvae will usually drop down close to the base of the plant, kind of quit feeding. Uh, and again, as you remember, uh, consumption of that treated foliage is really is how we're going to be effectively uh, using steward insecticide. So again, uh, if you can prevent making applications two days before or after a significant code drop, that is going to be key to making uh, steward insecticide work effectively. Also, uh, just making sure we have adequate spray volume. Uh, as you can imagine, trying to treat uh, 10 inches or 6 to 8 to 10 inches of foliage on a uh, alfalfa crop is difficult. Uh, so if you're gonna apply airily, three to five gallons per acre is really ideal to be able to get that uh, material on the foliage to where the con uh, insect can, can consume it. Uh, if you're going to buy ground, 15 to 20 gallons per acre is really essential to get the most out of a steward application. Kind of the third uh, key factor is that we would like to have greater than six inches of foliage at application. So uh, the reason for that is we, again, want to have the foliage there that has the uh, steward insecticide on it, enough foliage for those larvae to feed on and ingest that uh, insecticide in them. As I'd mentioned earlier, you know, most of the activity of steward is by ingestion. So uh, having enough foliage at application uh, with steward is, is really uh, key to success. Also kind of the last thing, the number four thing uh, that I think is a key factor in making steward uh, work and getting the most out of it is adding a surfactant, whether it be a NIS, a COC, MSO, or organosilicone. Uh, best to have somewhere between a quarter to a half percent in there by volume uh, to get uh, the most out of that insecticide that's being treated that's going to stick to the leaf and stay there. So I hope some of these uh, things I've mentioned today will help you control alfalfa weevil and that uh, you can uh, be effective in keeping this pest at bay. Uh, many university uh, trials, contractor trials and, and uh, uh, demo trials have been conducted with Steward and if we kind of follow these guidelines that I just mentioned I think you're going to be happy with its performance. Thank you.